How do you divide a circle into four equal parts? Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you two different methods of dividing a circle into two equal parts. So the two methods you are going to use is, one method is going to involve us using just our compass alone and the other one is going to involve using our protractor. So whichever tools you have at hand and you don't have any excuse, then you'll be able to divide a circle into four equal parts. So to start with, I'm going to be drawing my circle and um, I'm going to be using a circle with a radius of um, five centimeter. And so it doesn't matter the radius of your circle, you know, either the, or the size or the radius or the diameter. This principle works for just any circle, any circle and you have to divide it. So let me go ahead and draw the first circle that I'm going to be using to illustrate this example. And by the way, if you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy or you are new to this channel, uh, consider subscribing. The subscribe button is somewhere at the lower right of your screen. So go ahead now and click on it. All right, so thank you very much if you have just done that. And if you are yet to, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button. All right, so now let's go ahead and continue with this video. So now that I already have our circle, the first thing you have to do is to first of all divide it into two equal halves. And that is by drawing the diameter. Remember, we are dividing it into four. So the first thing you have to do is to divide it into two. So like what we are having here, we already have it into two. And then let's note the center of this circle. This is the center. Let's just call it point O. So now that now the first method is going to involve using just the protractor. So now we bring in our protractor and you place it at the center of your circle. Place it at the center of your circle and then you measure 90 degrees. So you can see it here. You measure 90 degrees. So either you count it for clockwise or anti-clockwise, you are still going to come here 90 degrees. Alright, so from the point of 90 degrees, you draw a line. See, this is our 90 degrees. So you place your ruler from that point where you mark 90 degrees and also at the center of the circle. And from there, you'll be able to draw a straight line. Another diameter. So with this now, we've been able to divide the circle into four equal halves. So this is, I mean, to four. I mean, four equal parts. One, two, three, and then four. So this is one approach. You can see we only use our protractor for this. So let's say we don't have our protractor handy and then we have just our compass with us. How do we also go ahead and divide the circle? So let me draw the second circle. So if you already find the value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you find this first method, um, you know, if you find it very helpful, just give the video a thumbs up. All right, so thank you very much. So now let's look at this second, uh, second way to go about it. So now we have another circle here. So like I said, the first thing is to is to divide it into two equal halves, and that is by drawing the diameter. So now we already have our diameter, so also note the center, which is this point, note the center. Now like I said, we are working with our compass alone. Now you bring in your compass at any convenient length, you adjust to any convenient length, I've just reduced it. Now you place it at the center of the circle, and you are going to draw an arc on the radius, I mean on the diameter, like this. I hope you can see, so these are the points. Let me note it so that you can see it properly. So this is the center, let's call this point O. And then let's call these two points, point one, and then point two. So you bring back your compass, you can just increase it at any convenient length, at any convenient length. So just make sure that it is, um, you increase it a bit. So it is longer than just increase it. It is longer than the length of, of the radius of the distance between point O and point two. I hope that is clear. So now you place it on point two, and then you draw an arc like this, and then on the other half you draw an arc like this with the same length. You place it on point one. You draw an arc at the top, and on the other half you draw an arc. Now let's you, you are going to note the point of intersection. So we are just Acts uh, intersect each other, their point of intersection, you note it. So I will note that if you bring in your ruler and then you join it together, it's going to pass through the center and then with that you are be, you'll be able to draw it to, to touch the circumference of the circle. So you, you can see with, with this, so this is method one, method one and this is method two. So this method one, we are, what we used here is just the protractor. So with the protractor. Why for this method two, what's the basic thing that we need here is our compass. 
definitely you need your pencil and your ruler but just the major, major tools so uh if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below which of these two methods you think is more convenient and easy approach to divide the circle into four equal parts so thank you very much for watching and again if you are here to subscribe to this channel pe academy please consider subscribing and then you uh, also check out playlist on technical and engineering drawing there are over 100 videos that will be of help to you if you offer technical and engineering drawing so with that guys i'll see you all in another video thank you